All right, and welcome, guys. This is XCOM, as you can see. And I first I thought I might as well do the tutorial without you guys, so I know how to play. But then I thought there might be some things in the tutorial that you know I'll be thrown straight into a game straight away. So I thought I better not risk it. So we're gonna jump into uh, familiar tactical games, challenging but fair. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go with normal and that should be okay I'm guessing here it should be advanced options so this is enable Iron Man play with a single save that is updated automatically as you progress through the game in Iron Man game your choices and your consequences are permanent enable tutorial yes I think we will go with the Iron Man because I have heard great things about this and once you lose like a team member that's it and uh, so yeah I'm gonna enable Iron Man anyone cannot reload earlier saves adding some to level challenges so I'm recommend for experienced players okay so I guess once experienced players I'm gonna uh, push it to one side for now then so let's uh, let's accept and we should be thrown straight into a game. Adjacent workshops provide a rebate on resources expand, expended in engineering. Several adjacent workshops can vastly improve your engineer's efficiency. I've I've not really seen many videos on XCOM, but I've heard great things about it. Not spoilers or anything, but uh, just great things. Well, wow, that's not really much to. Uh, yeah, that's equally terrifying, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Meteorite just hit. I'm calling it right, meteorite. Might be wrong. Whoa, it's actually dragging people back in. Oh. Oh, poor guy, poor guy. Oh, you see like the body is being, that is grim. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. It's worrying that you're the first and last line of defense. Good luck, Commander. What was that subtitle? That didn't look like Good Luck Commander. <laughs> okay. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Okay, let's see. Operation Devil's Moon, Berlin, Germany. Mission brief. Unknown bogeys classif uh, reclassified as intelligent, possible extra uh, possibly extraterrestrial life, unexplained events and impact site, German FSLL, uh, FSLK 200, 200 LRRP report MIA. Extraterrestrial in nature. 
shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Okay, so, uh, we're ready to engage. Oh, oh, that one's just flashing. And we're going to launch mission. So, we're going to be flung straight into a mission in Berlin, Germany. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. So, a helicopter has been fired upon, and the t recon team is missing. Well, presumed missing at this point. That, that's quite cool, the plane wings actually fold in. I'm guessing it's a team of four. Just, I don't know what gives it away. But it's a very tactical heavy game and I'm not sure if I'm going to do well in it because although I... Central, you getting all this? Copy that Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Okay, cover. Delta one, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Uh, this one here. Uh, use your mouse to select the highlighted position and move to soldier. Okay. Oh, right click. Sorry, I was looking at left click. Never mind. Okay, and then a soldier can move up to two times per turn. A number of remaining moves is indicated by the U soldier's unit flag. Except... Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. This one? Oh, this one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. Okay, move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Okay, so the shield tells you how much cover this guy's Delta getting. Three. Move to that vehicle dead ahead. Okay, you move over here. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Over here? Okay, over here. Can't press it. Okay. I guess it wasn't clicking it right. Delta four, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. I think dashing means you it takes up two moves, maybe. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta Four? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. <laughs> Dr. Volin, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Oh, okay, just as I uh, thought before, uh, dashing causes uh, you to use both. So, dashing. Okay, let's see. You, you're good. Delta 2, come up here. Tells you. Uh, Central. I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. See, we're going up to the next one. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Oh, 
what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Okay, I guess I'll be dashing then. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Probably bad that you've right, ran up to this quiet. thing. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Whoa, this thing is embedded in the side of a police truck. That's not good. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Okay, I guess we're breaching. Delta one, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Okay. So uh, okay, so you can take a look inside by in position. Going. Looks clear. Position looks clear. Get in there and get to cover. Okay, uh, here we'll do. As the arrow indicates. Delta two. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. You're just gonna charge? Oh, kick the door down. What <laughs> badass Delta 2. Okay, so I'm gonna dash here. There's a guy there. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. That's Doctor, weird. See if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks if of If you this. saw two of your men die before you, I think most people will be in shock. Dear. Okay, I guess this guy's covering all of us. Delta 3. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. This just sounds bad. That's one of my men. <gasps> Killed him. Oh. He's down. Delta One is down. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Central, we're taking fire for multiple X-rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Damn it. Delta two, your flank two. Find some better cover. Um, go ahead. All right, Delta two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Uh, enter the tactical attack to the UI or. Okay. The UI. Let's see. Use it. Select fire using. Anchor down. Fire. Overwatch. No. Free aiming frag grenade does free damage. Hunker down. Fire. I think. Yeah, we'll use fire. Ooh. Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Let's see where we're offering cover. Okay. And we're going here. Grenade at the enemy in front of you. Enter. Uh, fire, no. Let's find the grenade. Frag grenade. Oops. Dang, this is 
quite hard to control. Free aiming, let's do this. Hello. Now get ready for their counter attack. Counter attack? We're down to half the team. Uh oh. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Yes, we got you. Hello, hello. Alright, we killed three aliens. Extraterrestrial. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. It's crazy because that guy behind the the extraterrestrial being behind was controlling the guy, and it's like his his mind was like going purple. I'm not sure what's going on. I, I it's weird. Oh, we experienced a bit of lag, I think. Identify base location. Uh, all aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase and build and maintain. Well, considering I'm located in Europe, I'll probably go with Europe, but looking at here now, laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. That looks quite good already. Uh, future combat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Europe. Affirmative. We are coming home. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Uh oh. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. The technology is better than ours, and they have mind controlling abilities. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. I'm guessing it's the guy who survived. Whoa. What on earth? Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. I'm guessing this is the barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Uh, a few soldiers, barracks. A few soldiers. Okay, select Eduardo Martinez. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Okay, we'll follow you as a... The promotion icon next to abilities lets you know that they are eligible for promotion. Select abilities to promote. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Okay, let's see what he's got. New training. Fire this soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Well, they will. It's a rocket. Oh, Doctor Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Okay, one sec. Only one person. No, Commander wait. Commander to the research labs. 
Commander, to the research lab. Dang it. Do I get no say in this? Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay, but you gotta make it safe for our guys, right? Select weapon fragments or alien materials to begin research. Weapon fragments. These fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our own weapons, development programs. Okay, let's see what the other one is. Aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. A cure... Hey, what? A cursory examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve our soldiers' current body armor, but more research is required. I'm gonna go with the more defense kind, so I'm gonna go with this one. Begin research. Begin project, sorry. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Okay, I'll leave you to it, Dr. Varlin. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I really worried. <laughs> I'm needed like everywhere. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander. But it's one you'll have to make. Oh dear. Alien abductions reported. View abduction sites. United States. Panic level 1 out of 5. Mission difficulty easy. Reward scientists 4. Abduction sites Los Angeles, United States, and Hong Kong, China. I'm going to take a look at the China one. Hmm. I'm going to go with the American one first because they're both quite le low level panic but at the same time this rewards me scientists. So uh, this is going to be the end of the first episode. Thank you for joining me and join me next time whilst we're going head down into Los Angeles, United States. And thank you for joining me. This is XCOM with Klaus and Nomi. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.